Hey you guys, it's Bright. Today we're here with a little update on Janelle Evans, David Eason, and everything that is going on with their case with CPS. I had a few updates and some thoughts, so if you're interested, please keep watching. Alright you guys, so you guys seem to be enjoying the content on Janelle, despite it being a very tough topic, it does seem to be doing well. So I've been keeping an eye on things that are coming out regarding this entire situation, and today is one of those days where I can provide a brief update. This really bothers me because we already know how bad anything with um, CA or... DV, anything to do with children, like, it, it's all bad. It, it's all in this category of things that it's unimaginable. It's unimaginable to think of an adult hurting a child or their spouse or somebody whom they might not even know. Like, all of these cases are absolutely horrible. But when it comes to children being mistreated and other children witnessing the mistreatment, it's a different kind of category of how bad things can get with adults that mistreat children. And this situation is being updated to state that Janelle's youngest children, Ensley, who is six, and Kaiser, who is nine, were in the car the night of September 28th when David, who is her husband, reportedly assaulted her oldest son, 14, in front of a neighbor's home in North Carolina. So these two siblings were sitting in the vehicle when David decided to get physical with Jace. And th these two kids are still with Janelle and David. They're still in the home with this guy who unleashed fear and terror on their older sibling who is now luckily removed from the home but they're still in the home with this dangerous monster and that makes my heart so uh sore for these kids that are now probably feeling as if they're stuck they're probably very confused and no child should have to go through anything like that, and no child should have to witness their sibling go through something like that. It continues and says, one insider claimed that Marissa, David's daughter, who lives with them at their home, recently got her license and a car, and was at a friend's house the night the incident happened. Marissa used to watch the younger kids a lot, but since she got a car, she's been out of there. That night, the younger kids were in the car with Janelle and David when they pulled up to the house where he beat up Jace, the insider claimed. A second source said that the younger kids were in the car and saw what happened. That's part of the reason why it was so important for CPS to talk to them without J Janelle or David present. And I don't think that you need to work for CPS or know anybody that works for an agency like that to recognize that common sense would say that if there's allegations of these parents mistreating their kids, it would be best to be able to do, have an isolated conversation with the kids because I've talked about this before, but children wanting to appease the adults in their life, whether it's a parent, a grandparent, a family friend who happens to be around often, like no matter whom it is, so many times kids just want the approval of the adults in their lives. And they will say and do things that they're, they think will make the adults happy. And when you have an agency like this trying to get what is the truth, what actually happened, it's not always a good idea to have the um, suspects in the same room. It continues and says, beyond wanting to ask about any other potential that happened in the house. They also wanted to know exactly what they saw that night while they sat in the car in front of the house. That second source also added that they believe at this point CPS has interviewed both Ensley and Kaiser. 
and that their interviews happened at some point in the past week. Yet another source said Ensley and Kaiser witnessed the alleged attack and expressed concern over CPS's lack of action to remove the younger children from the home and the Columbus County Sheriff's Department's inaction thus far on their ongoing criminal investigation. I don't understand what is going on with CPS or the sheriff. This house has been investigated before. There have been multiple allegations of a made against David and still nothing has happened, the frustrated insider claimed. And that is frustrating to be an outsider and be urging authorities to do something and it just kind of feels like it's not on their list of top priorities. I could only imagine the amount of endless calls that people have made to express their frustration and their concern. And yet these are the people that are given platforms and popularity and fame and money. And they, so many of them just turn out to be absolutely pieces of like human garbage. I don't understand it. I really don't. And there are still people that are supporting Janelle and David both, which I think is the really scary thing. If you look on her TikTok, you will see people in the comments section excusing her behavior. What kind of world is this? Where people are co-signing um, literally one of the worst parents that is on social media, Janelle Evans. It continues and says, earlier this week, a law enforcement source told the U.S. Sun that there is officially a criminal investigation into Janelle and her husband, David, after allegations he has hit the star's son Jace late last month. Multiple sources previously claimed that both CPS and the Columbus County Sheriff's Department were involved in the investigation into Jace's third runaway attempt after an alleged by his stepdad who is 35. I usually don't like to get too caught up on labels but I think it's an absolute joke that any article will call him Jace's stepdad because even before this what, what kind of stepdad role was David playing for Jace or Kaiser? CPS took custody of Jace in the aftermath, and his grandmother, Barbara, has been caring for him since. Jace was admitted into a Brunswick area hospital on September 29th. He was finally released on October 10th. Law enforcement had been tight-lipped on their official involvement until this week. It's unclear exactly what charges David might face and if it's unclear, and it's unclear whether Janelle will face any charges as well. I want to talk real quick about the t period of time that Jace was on, in the hospital from the 29th through the 10th. I don't know if you guys have ever spent more than, you know, a, a quick visit in the hospital. I'm sure most of you have. Um, but as a literal teenager, that probably felt like six months to him that probably felt like just the absolute worst you know hospitals even if they do their very best like let's be honest nobody wants to spend the night in a hospital um and I think especially when you're there for bad reasons I think the only uplifting thing that people go through at a hospital would be you know, giving birth to a child and welcoming a child into the world and, um, you know, going home with a happy, healthy baby and a happy, healthy mama and, um, and dad as well. You know, the whole family gets to go home happy. But, you know, aside from that, like most of the hospital visits that are multiple night stays are not anything that are good. And I just couldn't imagine being a teenager who had been assaulted, allegedly, by my step-parent and then have to spend that period of time in a hospital where I don't know what's going to happen next. They might send me back to this house where I might have to try to run away again. Um, am I going to be taken care of? Are they going to get in trouble? The, the mental health implications. Then you have the fact that Janelle and David are both uh, popular. So this is not something that's just kept within the family and nobody else knows about it. This is being reported on by 
so many major news sites and it's playing on on social media janelle is fanning the flames herself david is fanning the flames himself and it would just be something that i wouldn't want to see any kid go through never not in a million years it continues and says cps has also expanded its investigation after the special court hearing last week as the u.s sun had revealed a judge allegedly ordered Janelle to bring Kaiser and Ensley in for questioning without the former reality star or her husband David present and away from their North Carolina home known as the land. Janelle has been banned from speaking to or seeing Jace unless the teen initiates the contact himself, which I think is obviously in his best interest. That's kind of a no-brainer. It also says that meanwhile David is banned from any interaction whatsoever with him according to sources a hearing is set for later this month to discuss the issue of jace's care moving forward though it's unclear if anything will be made permanent at that time barbara gave janelle custody um gave custody back to janelle in march of 2023 and jace had his first runaway attempt in august that's the update as of right now i really you know my heart goes out to jace i hope that everything works out in his favor and i think that Obviously, the best thing for him is to be with Barbara, but let's also talk about that because I think her, her mom is around 70. Yeah, she's 70. So, you know, talk about unfair. Like, this woman should be enjoying her retirement, spending some time with her grandchildren. It should be a, you know, a really healthy family unit and where the grandkids can come over and bake cookies or spend the night at grandma's house and it's all good and i know that that's kind of a that's kind of a like fairy tale version of what a lot of family dynamics look like but it should not be this i think that most of us can agree on that even if you have a little bit of a different family dynamic um i i don't think that it should be <laughs> your children and then them going back to their grandmother who raised them because you couldn't parent and you couldn't protect and you're still choosing to stand by your child of year. I think that's absolutely disgusting and I think that Janelle Evans is just below the ground as far as her morals, her morals, ethics, love, uh, everything is below ground level and that's how I feel and that's how I've always felt about her but either way I wanted to provide this little update I worry about her other kids and I worry about the impact of all of this on all of her kids uh, you know the impact directly on Jace the impact of the siblings possibly being witness to this abuse and who knows about the other um awful things that might have happened within the four walls of that home that we just don't know about. I mentioned that in my other video as well. But nevertheless, that's the update for today. So if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.